I was pregnant on the film, by the way. <laughs> no, no, honestly, I was very surprised when they called me and they asked me, I said, listen, I'm pregnant, I can't be doing the film, but uh, Vipul is a dear friend and uh, he said, I can't see Force 2 being made without, you know, a special appearance from you. So I said, it's really tough because, you know, what he said, just give us a special appearance. So that's how I did it. And I'm glad I did it, though I haven't seen what I did. I hope I was, I made a difference somewhere, but thank you. Um, well, everyone keeps asking this question, but uh, when we were together, when uh, I was pregnant, we were very clear that it's, we are pregnant. So uh, whether it was a baby shower or everything, <coughs> We did it together. I thought that it's not only the mother that needed to have this whole thing, it's the father as well. It's their big day as well, you know. And whether it was the delivery or looking after, Ritesh has been with me throughout. Um, we both believe in being uh, hands-on. We do have help, uh, but I'm there 24-7, as you know. My, you know, I don't do too much work because my priorities right now are my children. Um, having said that, Ritesh is, is busier, but he would make sure that he puts the child to sleep. He would make sure that he spends, um, you know, quality time. So he teaches uh, Rian how to paint. He teaches Rian a lot of nature, you know. Um, and I feel these things do make a difference when uh, two of us work together. Like if Rian has to be picked up from school, it'll be one of the parents or one of the grandparents. It's not, it's never just help going to pick him up or drop him to school. These are little things that we have set in because we grew up like that. Like I'm very particular if he's, if he's gone out and he comes home, I have to be there to receive him. He can't enter into a, um, you know, a house that doesn't have people. I'm, I'm extremely particular. You know, we encourage, you know, my dog to interact with him. So for us, um, we, we are, I would say, I, I mean, I don't know how much to say hands-on, but um, we're definitely fully involved in the process. No, I think, honestly, your question is right. India, at a certain level, is evolving, and all this has really changed. I feel whether it's marriage or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, having children. I think primarily what's important is the fact that um, it's part of nature, it's part of life. And I think the more we accept it, we get better films because we get better films with different ages. We get, uh, like today I feel I'm more experienced than, you know, much more experienced than what I was at 20 or 22. So I feel I'll be a better actor the later I am than what I was earlier because there's so many more emotions that you've come across, there's so many more things. And that's the reason why in the West, it's they're all married, they all have children. They are. So I'm sure that it is evolving. I can see it evolving. You can see a lot of mothers, be it Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, be it Konkana Sen, whoever is coming back and doing work. It's definitely evolving. I do, however, feel that priorities change a bit. Um, I can't work the entire year at this age. I think maybe once my child goes to school, I can think about that because they will have eight hours or nine hours at school. But right now it is tough. So I can do an hour or two or maybe one film at a time, but I can't do as much as I could do before, I feel, in that sense. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when you're pregnant, of course, people say, eat this ladu, eat this, eat that, eat that. No, but there are times that you need to walk. And like people say, no, no, don't walk, it's not good. But these are things that, you know, even if, if you have your guy act, they'll explain to you that, you know, being active, if you're fit, I'm not saying that if you're not fit, go and, you know, just be active. But if you're having a good pregnancy, you should treat it as a good pregnancy. So you should have a little bit of walking. Like I walked every single day when I was pregnant, be it nine months. Or I climbed up steps. I did everything because that's the way I wanted it to be. And um, I believed that it's a phase of life. It's not something that, uh, you know, you need to sit back and moan about and say, oh, my back is paining. So I never had any back pain. I never had any of these things because I think I was a lot more active um, in my pregnancy. And I honestly believe that it's important to have these kind of exercises, these kind of things for your body because you are undergoing a lot of strain, struggle, stress. Um, I just think it's the right thing that you need to do at that point in the first time I saw uh, Rian bump his head and uh, you know like a, a little fall but the first time I saw blood I was like oh my god I thought the whole world had ended 
And then I realized that, you know, I can't panic. I have to be strong. So ever since, in myself, I see such a big change. Like, I see I'm much more confident. I take control of the situation. I, you know, I don't really sit and say, oh my God, what's happening, this, that. No, I'm like, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. And so I see these things happening in motherhood. Um, I see the fact that never plan, because children teach you to live in the moment. They they don't, they don't teach you to plan for years. They teach you to live for today, in the moment, enjoy it and move on. So these are little things that I see from my child and um, I think it's the most beautiful thing. I, we all say, you know, live for today, don't live for tomorrow, think about today. But none of us do it. But I think children make you do it because they're so excited today, tomorrow, they may not even bother about that thing. So you learn to live life like that. I honestly believe if you're having a difficulty, if you're having, it's, it's a big boon to a mother who's probably under so much of trauma and anxiety and you know struggle at times so having a child is a joy and if you're managing to get a child with through surrogacy i totally would uh, advise that way out because that's what's uh, that's what you want all your life yeah um i think i read everything i uh, <coughs> listen to everyone i read everything because i always think there may be one point in the entire conversation that works for you but eventually i make my own decision even i listen to both my mother-in-law my mother everyone but i make the choice for myself and i think there's nothing stronger than a mother's intuition uh, well i had a word with uh, priyanka before this and she was uh, informing me about the activities and the procedures that are going to take place here. And um, honestly, I do feel that 90% um, of the times, even if there are places where there is a certain step back as to not wanting to go there as a mother just for or the fear of it being hygienic or not. But having a mother do this, I'm sure she understands it a lot better than anyone else, and I'm sure uh, you can send your child with safety. In fact, I, I myself was talking to her and asking her what is the process and, you know, uh, I, I found it really exciting because for one, I'm someone who thinks that a child needs to be put into a water, into the water as early as possible. Uh, just for the fact that I feel, um, you know, it helps in hand-eye coordination and a lot of things that most children, when they start developing, uh, tend to fall and my son has fallen two or three times and I've almost died in that zone so um, you know I feel all these things do help um, and it's always nicer to make your child independent and confident uh, because that's your first success point as a parent I feel and with the things wherein their massages are proper wherein they are um, you know they're, they're trying to move in water um, and it is the safest place because you can put them in anything, whether it's land, um, you know, in a garden. Or you, you always have that fear of something going wrong, but when it's water, though there is fear, I mean, I want, you can't say that there's no fear at all, but when you have a train and a personalized, uh, pers a personalized activity happening for you, um, I think it will always help you have that little peace of mind that your child is you know, looked after, and, and this is what you want for your child more than anything else. So thank you for setting it up. I'm sure a lot of mothers are going to thank you because uh, I think as mothers, we're always looking out what's, what's there and what's safe. And as much as there are a lot of things, you need to pick up the best for your child, and I'm sure that's what's going to happen with your wedding